gonna let my man right here, Alex Skolnick, start this next song, all right? <laughs> You know him best from his days with Testament, Trans-Siberian Orchestra, and his self-titled Jazz Trio. Hi, I'm Rebecca Brayton, and welcome to WatchMojo.com. And today we're speaking with Alex Skolnick about his career. You've been in a lot of groups, bands, ensembles. How would you say each one affects your creative process, and what does each one represent in your career? Um, I think each, uh, you know, each situation has been very different. They've all been learning experiences. Testament is probably the, you know, the most, it's obviously the most well-known one. It's also the most uh, interesting one because I, yeah, I really just watched the band from the ground up and really making a lot of mistakes, <laughs> but, but getting through while other bands in the same scene uh, made more mistakes and didn't learn from them. With Testament, it was definitely this experience of you know, going into the studio the first time and learning how, all these things that I, I didn't know. You know. How do you interact in the studio on a tour? What is the process? And how, how to interact with people on tour, you know, because we were, we're all very sheltered. We've come from, all come from these suburbs in the San Francisco Bay Area, so to suddenly be, uh, you know, thrown out into the world and doing this tour, you know, and I was 18 when we did our first tour. That was quite the learning experience. With the other projects I'm most well known for with my yeah my trio I uh, really learned how to be a band leader how to be a decision maker how to make difficult decisions sometimes I had to fire a couple people that's no fun but you know it ha it has to happen sometimes it's, it sucks you get to these points where especially when there's friendships involved. You have to look and say, okay, well, I can just, you know, keep my buddy in the band, enjoy that, but, you know, realize the musical limitations, or I can really try to do what, you know, what's best for the music. The other project I'm really well known for is Trans Siberian Orchestra. That was fascinating because then this is a situation where um, I really got plugged into something where it's actually run by a, a core creative team that are more business people than musicians but effective business people and creative people. It was sort of like stepping into a situation where you have arena rock production. You have this whole program that you need to follow and that you do have some input in. It was a big learning experience for me. I really developed stage presence doing that in ways that I wouldn't have otherwise. With that show, we would have uh, occasional special guests. And I'd say you know, the most famous special guests we had were Steven Tyler in one year and Roger Daltrey in another year. And for me, the most um, intimidating was uh, John Anderson of Yes, where you know I had to play um, I had to play the acoustic intro to Roundabout with him standing next to me, you know, in front of 14,000 people, and you know the head of the, the creator of the show, Paul O'Neill, you know, wishing me luck and telling me don't screw it up. So, you know, experiences like that you really, really learn from. But I also learned that I like to be a creative person. So as great as that was, and I, I did that for many years, ultimately I need to be one of the creative people. I don't take direction that well. Fair enough. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. My pleasure.